Have you wondered if you have an instinct for music, or worried that you don't? What if all the seemingly natural skills of music, like playing by ear, improvising, singing in tune, collaborating with others, could be yours, not by learning them, but by simply connecting with a natural musician that's already inside you? In this episode, I'll explain how you can know whether you have an inner natural, and how to tap into it to unlock these kinds of skills for yourself. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Christopher, I'm the founder and director of Musical You, and this is Musicality Now. We often talk on this show about your inner natural, or having the instinct for music, and all the practical skills that go along with that, like playing notes, chords, and rhythms by ear, improvising, jamming, and more. Normally, we discuss how to learn those practical skills, but that glosses over something important. You might think that if you need to learn those skills, it's because you're not a natural musician, and you don't have the musical instinct inside. But what I want to share on this episode is that that isn't quite right. In fact, we all have an inner natural. We all have the musical instinct, and here's how you can know. Humans have been making music for tens of thousands of years, long before sheet music and notation, long before the instruments we study technique for today, Cavemen were banging drums and dancing around campfires, even playing primitive flutes, going way back to prehistoric times. Do you think those cavemen worried about whether they had the musical instinct? Or held back from picking up the drumsticks because they thought they didn't have talent? That may sound like a silly example to look at, but the core point is valid even today. Those cavemen got involved because they enjoyed and appreciated music. The only difference between them and us is that we have all these culturally inherited expectations about who is allowed to make music and who should be considered a real musician. We can see that clearly by looking at how children today interact with music. Before they start getting indoctrinated about so-called talent, any child will instinctively dance to music or have fun making noise when handed an instrument. Again, the only difference between that free and confident attitude to music making and the typical adult mindset is that we gradually accumulate a ton of misconceptions and barriers around what it means to be a musician or to be a natural. Let's take improvisation as a case in point. Most adult musicians, if you ask them if they can improvise, they'll say, nope. Because in their head, they're taking improvise to mean perform an impressive melody or arrangement on their instrument with no prior preparation, conforming to particular expectations about a music genre like jazz or rock. That is a ton of baggage. What about the question, could you play a few notes on your instrument without any sheet music? Or can you stick to a single note and come up with a cool rhythm by yourself? Those are both totally valid forms of improvising and well within the capabilities of any instrumentalist who's got a grip on the basics of instrument technique. So what if becoming a natural in music isn't about creating an inner natural, but about connecting with the inner natural that's already there? Here's the thing. You already intuitively understand music. If you didn't, you wouldn't enjoy music. Let me ask you, can you tell when music gets more exciting or less exciting? When it's fast or slow? Can you hear the difference between a human voice and a guitar? Clearly there is a part of your brain that gets all of this. The problem is that it's not connected up to the parts of your brain that move your fingers on an instrument or control your singing voice. Because we can't do things in music, we assume we don't have what it takes. But we do. Our fundamental musicality is there, and it's at work every time you have an experience of loving hearing music. So that's encouraging, but it's not enough, right? It's not enough to let us play by ear, improvise, perform with expression, collaborate with other musicians. To do all those things, we need to put connections and frameworks and mental models in place to transform the instinctive understanding of music into an intellectual understanding. That enables us to consciously draw on that intuitive understanding to choose what notes to play when, and actually express our own musical ideas out in the world. There is no limit to how advanced you can get with these mental frameworks and connections, and it's a virtuous cycle. The more you learn, the more you can do, and the more you will do. 
Then, the more you love music, the more you understand music instinctively, and the more connections you can put in place. This cycle, by the way, is why we do see some apparently talented musicians in the world. That cycle has just happened particularly quickly, or it's all happened very early in their life. For the majority of us, we've gained the inner instinct for music, but we need to take conscious action to put in place the intellectual understanding and mental models to put it all to use. Putting these mental frameworks in place is what we're talking about when we discuss ear training or musicality training here at Musical U. It comes in many forms, from simple, repetitive drills and exercises to teach fine-grained skills, through to big-picture conceptual understanding, and there's a lot of learning by doing along the way. It looks different for each and every musician, but it's always about empowering them to connect with the deep instinctive understanding of music that's already there. So never doubt that you have what it takes, or worry that you don't have an instinct for music. If you enjoy music, if you love music, if you can appreciate your favourite music tracks, you have what it takes. All that remains is to equip yourself with the tools to translate that inner instinct out into the world in exciting and creative ways. So what are you waiting for? I don't often directly promote our products here on the show, but I will in this case. We are about to open up our Foundations of a Musical Mind course again, so if you're looking for an easy and proven way to put in place the mental models that will unlock that inner natural for you, head to musicalmindcourse.com. Oh hey, one more thing. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to like it on YouTube, and if you haven't already, please also subscribe to our channel there. That's going to help make sure you get all our latest videos as soon as they come out, and it also helps us reach more people, which means more episodes, better guests, and everybody wins. So please take a second to like this video and hit subscribe.